Interrelate's Pull Up Your Socks movement is about supporting Australians to identify healthy or unhealthy behaviours in your relationship. How would you know if you're in a healthy relationship? Someone who's caring, it feeling easy. Trust and freedom. Compromise is key, I think. Conversations about relationships are important for us to have. Let's dig a little deeper. Thanks, Matt. Looks like you got some great involvement down in Bondi. Today I'm here with Steve and we're talking about relationships. What are the signs a relationship is in an unhealthy space? Usually we're feeling anxious or we're feeling uh, even anger coming to the surface. And I think from that comes out some bad habits at times. We're avoiding our partner or we're quick to, you know, conflict and arguing. Why do you think it's so easy that we fall into those bad habits, Alicia? We naturally revert to that unless something catalyzes a change. So particularly if things are going unspoken, you don't really know that your behavior is becoming a bad habit until someone maybe mentions it or brings it to your attention. You're sort of leading into maybe communication and mm. what do you think is the importance around like having strong communication maybe what that looks like? I think it's important to make time to communicate and that can be hard so it might be about scheduling time in. Let's just have dinner together and check in with each other about you know what's important or what's happening for us. From your perspective why are dates and like one-on-one -on -one time with your partner so important? So sort of leading on from that, what we were talking about earlier about not letting it build up. It's about setting aside time. I guess talk about your, yourself as well, as well as the other person letting themselves talk and listening to each other. And also making that time to connect because yeah. I think people just run out of time and yeah. then they feel like that connection is maybe gone. What do you think people mean when they say the spark is gone? It can be, I think, where we feel like it's got lost is when life gets so busy or things maybe just feel less maybe um, stimulating than they were early in the relationship. Yeah, people get really uh, infatuated with that honeymoon phase at the beginning of a relationship and then it is really exciting and adventurous and then when you sort of move into the monotony of the day-to-day -day living with someone, it can start to feel like that excitement is diminishing. So I think being able to reflect on how you feel in the relationship and maybe just the progress of the relationship objectively as opposed to comparing it to how it was at the start. And I think it's important to, to have that curiosity. We can keep discovering someone because we're always changing. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking time out of your day to have a chat. My pleasure, Alicia. Here at Interrelate, we support thriving relationships. Counselling, relationship education and mental health support are some of the ways that we might be able to help you. If this sounds like something you're interested in, slide into our DMs for a chat.